humans being for 100% herbivore. From the side to side molar of our lower jaw, like this, to the fact that we sweat to our pores to cool ourselves down, to the fact that we have amylase in the slama to digest starch, to the fact that our intestinal tract is around something like 7 to 12 times the length of our torso. To the fact that we have not such sharp teeth like uh, lions, bears and wolves. To the fact that um, we don't can see so well in the dark. To the fact that we have no sharp claws to kill prey with our fingers being flat and not sharp. To the fact that we be not so fast animals. To the, to the fact that the acidity of the human digestive system is around something like uh, 7 pH, that of carnivores and omnivores is around something like um, 3 to 5 and by true carnivores like um, 100% brutal carnivores like crocodiles, it mean actually two. Uh, it's actually uh, one to three, two. To the fact that most humans, if they have to, have to get a chance, not even can kill an animal with your hands. To the fact that the smell of, uh, of uh, dead animals don't let you come water out of your mouth and let you vent and make you hunger. Go to, um, if next time if you see roadkill, smell on it. Make it, uh, Make the smell of uh, the dead animal you hungry? No. To the fact that our teeth are being weak. We don't can chew on bones and hold very long teeth. Go to one to go to a uh, pet shop. Buy some old school bone. Chew on it. If you tease, if you let me let me uh, protect myself from uh, any future lawsuits. If you do that, your weak little herbivore teeth will break in half. So don't go to the dentist and charge me the um, to the, uh, the ten thousand um, dollar. Bounty that you um, don't uh, dentist wants to charge you. To the fact that um, we um, get osteoporosis from eating high amounts of uh, animal protein. To the fact that we uh, that only herbivore animals can uh, get um, clouded arteries from eating high amounts of um, cholesterol-rich food, but nothing happened by any real carnivore. But clouded 
Avarice being one of the biggest causes of um, death in America and other countries where there eat high amounts of protein and animal rich foods and uh, cholesterol rich foods and, and high trans fat and all of other things that come from animals from, ani from animal body parts and things that come out of their bodies from these animals to the fact that we uh, have one intestinal tract that is not flat but hobbling it can uh, go up and down by their carnivores and omnivores the intestinal tract is flat and going one in one uh, move weight ratio so that it can quickly deep about um, animal flesh and protein and other high acidic stuff out of the body before there are hamster arteries and that kind of stuff you don't have to be Einstein to figure out the conclusion that animal protein and animal products being the most biggest cost of all human diseases of all the people that say that um, the brain of humans being evolved on uh, the fact that we have to learn to uh, cook and eat uh, meat actually the more believable argument of that is that our brains become evolved Thing by cooking starch, high amounts of starch, like uh, potatoes, rice, corn, and that's the reason that that will be the reason of our big brains. And if they've been true, that protein gives you bigger brains and more intelligence. Then most lions and hyenas want to have first find out the theory of relativity, and not Albert Einstein, who actually uh, eats no meat or was a vegetarian. <laughs> so. Go just vegan. Go just live on plants only. And being kind instead of uh, cruel. Is it so hard for people to choose compassion over uh, violence? Is it so hard for humans to be peaceful instead of cruel? That they're always to try to make excuses to let them do their violent rituals and traditions. Sadly, the majority of humans being not so bright folks, to be not so clever, being always small groups in anything. People that think for themselves, not a majority, in time of uh, slavery, was all, was all a little majority group that say slavery is wrong. And now, on this moment, there's also a small majority of group say animal agriculture is wrong. Because animal agriculture is actually the essence of slavery. Many animals. Studies have uh, showed that actually. I've also a link in the description below. Um, that, um, can I explain you that? Actually, the first four arm of um, the first slavery actually existence in the first societies 
that uh, invented uh, animal agriculture. So if you want to stop the uh, evil and the system of uh, evil behavior, you have to stop where it is root. You don't can uh, love the tree and not ending hating the roots of the tree. You have to put the whole tree away. The whole tree of slavery. Slavery is a system wherein animals be socially oppressed and exploited it for economic well-being, for the root of all evil. It's outdated humans. Compassion and decency begins on the dinner table. By what you eat on a daily basis. You don't go pray for peace and compassion and then do hypocritical violent things. No. That's not how the world works. You've been kind around the table or you've been not. You don't can choose which kinds of discrimination you like or not. You don't can say, I like uh, speciesism, but I despise racism. You don't can say, I don't like uh, racism, uh, but I like uh, sexism. Get one straight point. No living being is better on arbitrary reasons. Arbitrary criteria being something like skin color, the ability to uh, comprehend um, complex language, the uh, ability to locate earthquakes, the ability of um, of um, can change your skin color um, with a uh, ground after you. The um, arbitrary criteria being also uh, skin color, the uh, ability uh, to procreate, the um, uh, being gay or be straight, uh, being woman or be man, be all forms of arbitrary criteria that be in no way standards of superiority. The only thing that makes you better than another, if you don't do something that is totally evil, is totally immoral and is totally insane. I've been for 12 years around now vegan and it is now time for you to go also vegan. I say you, there is no excuse for veganism. No matter how much you want to believe it, there is no excuse. So, do not to others, just like you want to be treated yourself, since nobody wants to be treated like a cow, a pig, a chicken, or another animal on this planet, in the concentration camps that we show you permission to be fewer as um, slaughterhouses and go vegan. Or don't ask for any respect in return. Because the contrary with popular opinions, maybe. You don't deserve rights. 
when you don't be willing to extend rights to other living beings. If you don't be willing to be altruistic, doing something and don't ask something in return for.